you ever find your students in a reading rut? It's a thing. As adults, we get it, and children and students can get it too. What that means is they get kind of stuck. They get stuck in a genre or a type of reading, and they like it and enjoy it until they don't. And they don't know how to get themselves out of the reading rut because they don't know what else is out there. Now, as adults, we know that there are lots of other genres and different types of reading that we could, uh, you know, indulge in, but students may not know that. So how do we get them out of the reading rut? Well, I have an activity for you. So welcome to Pencil Talk, where we talk about amazing classroom resources that you just have to have in your classroom. So today I want to show you my finding the magic resource. The reason I call it that is because we're finding the magic in reading and it's to help get students out of their reading rut and explore other genres that maybe they haven't either been interested in yet or maybe they don't even know existed. So this activity is fantastic because once you prep it, it goes on all year long without any help really from you. All you have to do is give some reminders and then check the activities that come in. And if you want to give rewards, then give rewards. All right. So let me break it down for you. So every student will get one of these. It's the Finding the Magic bingo page. And they will put this in some kind of folder that they always have with them. I always had what we call a whip folder, which is our work in progress, which is stuff that did not go home. It was always at school. So like they would keep that in there. So they would write their name on it. And then you can see that there are different genres as well as page numbers um, on the page here. So then the other thing you would need to do is prep the binder. So in the binder, you would have about a one inch binder and then you need 16 or 20 um, page protectors inside the binder. And then you're going to print off about 10 to 15 copies of each of the activities, which I'm about to show you, and put them into the folder or the, the thingies that I just mentioned. What were they called again? <laughs> The page protectors, right? Um, sometimes words are hard. But anyways, that way students can go and access the page that they need without having to bug you for it. They know that they want page four, so they're going to go to the binder, look for page four, grab one out, put the binder back. It's that simple. You prep it once, make your copies for the whole year, and until one runs out, you really don't have to do anything else. So how does this all work then? That's probably the question on your mind. So again, the whole purpose of this is to get your students out of that rut and looking at other genres. So we know that the bingo board has tons of genres on it. The goal is to try to get four in a row. They can go diagonal, four corners, whatever kind of parameters you want them to put in. Now, what they're going to do then is find a book of that genre. Now, if you don't have those genres in your classroom, you're going to want to make sure you take time to take them to the library and show them where all of these genres are in the school library. Involve your librarian. That's a fantastic little activity that they can do. Do a scavenger hunt, whatever. Make sure that they know where all these different genres are. Or if they can't find it, let them know how and who to ask to help find it. So once they found their book, they're going to read it on their own. This is their independent reading like you would normally do. And then they would go and get the corresponding activity that goes along with that genre. So each genre on the bingo board has an activity that goes along with it. Um, so you can see them on here. So for example, we've got a newspaper article for biography. For nonfiction, they have to make a brochure. For mystery, they have to um, write out a podcast or actually make a podcast. So there's all kinds of super fun, engaging activities. These are not your normal, like, I'm going to make them write a book report. No, they're going to do things like comic book strips, uh, diary entries, advertisements, infomercials. They actually get to get on camera, whatever technology you've got, or even let them have your phone, whatever, and let them make, you know, a quick infomercial about their folktale. Um, so there's all different kinds of activities and all the activities are included. So this is what you'd be putting in your binder. So you would make 10 to 15 copies of each of these and put them into the page protectors. So here this is for thrillers. So you can see there it is a text conversation back and forth between the two characters. So they get to kind of create a text um, text conversation. Here is the play and drama. I kind of went off of David Letterman um, top 10 if you know what 
or who David Letterman is, um, top 10. And so they get to create the top 10 most interesting details from their player drama. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them because there are a lot, obviously. Here's a fairy tale. They get to include a postcard. Um, they get to create and color it and then also write out the postcard. So you can see, like, these are just fun activities. And it gets them to explore a new genre, do a quick activity to show that they did it. And then they can kind of reflect on themselves. Is this a genre that I like? Is it one that I don't like? I can tell you right now, I don't like um, biographies and autobiographies. They're just not my thing. Now, my mother-in-law loves them. So it's okay to have genres that we like and don't like, but we need to give our students a chance to really explore them. So they're going to continue doing this. There's no set time limit. Let it go all year long. If they get a bingo, then they can get a brand new board and you have them, encourage them to get another bingo, but in a different pattern. So here's one for legends. They can fill out an award and they have to explain why they chose to give that character the award and what it's for. Um, let's look at some really fun ones here. I think they're all fun, but there's some that just really are cool. Oh, myths. They had get to create a Facebook profile. Like how fun is that? Um, your students are going to love these because they're different than, um, typical, like, I don't know, activities that they get to do with books. Historical fiction, they have to create a, uh, interview with the historical character in the book. They have to ask the question, but then they also have to come up with the answer. For poetry, they have to create a report card based on the elements that are given on the report card. So it's just a fun, unique way. Like I said, I can't show you all of them, otherwise we'd be here forever. But a really fun, unique way to get your students to explore different genres, to find the magic in reading, and to get out of that reading rut. So you can learn more information about this awesome resource with the link in the video description. Just click that show more button and you can head over to my store and check that out. Um, it is a fantastic resource, something like I said, you prep once and use it all year long, and your students are going to love finding the magic. Mm -hmm.